Hey guys, we've all wondered which came first, the egg or the chicken. Long before us, even the ancient Greeks were tormented by this question. I guess the dinosaurs died out because their small brains couldn't solve this problem. But people don't think it over for too long. They put a seal on this question without even waiting for an answer. Hmm, maybe I should do the same. Nah, otherwise this video will be too short. So today we will decide once and for all who came first, Mr. Egg or Mrs. Hen. At first glance, the question seems pretty obvious. Well, if you take it literally. After all, egg-laying animals existed long before chickens appeared. So theoretically, the egg appeared before the chicken. But we're not talking about any eggs. What about chicken eggs? We're interested in this egg-chicken-egg-chicken -chicken loop. I mean, if a chicken is born from an egg, then where did it come from? Most likely from another chicken, which also had to hatch from an egg. That came from where? Right from a chicken. So which part of this damn cycle came first? Mrs. Hen and all her adherents claim that she came first, and here's why. The shell of an egg is made hard by the OV17 shell-forming protein, which is formed only in the ovaries of the chicken. So it turns out that without the OV17 protein, and therefore without the ovaries of the chicken, and therefore without the chicken, the chicken egg would not be able to form the way we are used to. So technically we can't have the chicken egg without the chicken. This kinda means that the chicken came first. Yes! Um, no. After all, it depends on what the chicken egg is, whether it is an egg laid by a chicken or an egg with a chicken embryo. Yes, but, but... Right, but you said that chickens are the carriers of the OV17 protein that forms the shell. Yes, but chickens also had to come from somewhere. Here's an example. We have a cow, and let's say hypothetically the cow laid an egg. But how? How the fuck should I know? I just said hypothetically. So from this egg, an octopus hatched. Also hypothetically. How? Hypothetically. Anyway, that is not the real question. The real question is, whose egg will it eventually be? Cow or octopus egg? This brings us to the adherence of Mr. Egg. Let's imagine that one day the foremother and forefather of our chicken met. Let's call them proto-chickens. Of course, they are representatives of a separate species and have, well, little in common with modern chickens. So when proto-chickens are mating, DNA from a sperm and an egg is combined in a zygote, a diploid cell that carries a full set of chromosomes, that is, half from mom and half from dad. However, DNA replication will never be 100%, which often results in slight differences in the new organism. These mutations over hundreds of years led to the appearance of a completely different creature, not similar to the ancestors, thereby potentially making it the first representative of a new species, namely the chicken. That is, from the egg that the proto-chickens laid, a chicken appears. So it turns out that this egg can be considered the first chicken egg. And it turns out that the egg came first. Yay! But supporters of Mrs. Hen will most likely disagree, saying that it was an ordinary chicken grown inside a proto-egg, right? Um, yeah, probably. After all, a mutation cannot immediately produce a new species. We see only the current state of things and not what everything was like millions of years ago. The process of evolution is so gradual that the birth of an ordinary chicken from a proto-chicken couldn't be called a new species. Well, for example, dogs evolved from wolves when humans started taming them, but there is not a single case in nature when a wolf would immediately give birth to a dog puppy. This would take time and, of course, the selection of certain traits in wolf cubs. You know, so that they're not afraid of humans and are less aggressive. And after many generations, all this led to large genetic and behavioral changes. Okay, so what's the bottom line? On one hand, if we assume that some of the egg-laying species at a certain moment gave birth to a proto-chicken, which laid proto-chicken eggs, and the DNA that had a selective advantage was changed in one of them, which led to the very first chicken known to us, which began to lay the most ordinary chicken eggs. Well, in this case, technically the chicken came first. But on the other hand, imagine that this same proto-chicken at some point in her life, and for who knows what reason, did not lay a proto-egg as it always did but suddenly laid the first ordinary egg we all know, from which the first chicken was born. In this, the egg came first. And here we are again, back to the question of what a chicken egg is. In fact, the question is meaningless, because regardless of whether it was a chicken egg or a proto-chicken egg, a chicken hatched from an egg. So the egg came first. My congratulations, Mr. Egg. Thank you, Mr. Brock. If you need an omelet or scrambled eggs or chicken, please let me know. Certainly I will. 
Well, let's consider the question of what came first, the egg or the chicken, closed. It was Judge Brock from the Broccoli Academy, and thanks for watching. Well guys, if your bet was for Mr. Egg, then congratulations. Leave your like, subscribe, and share the video. And if your bet was for Mrs. Hen, I'm sure you were left dissatisfied. So let's see some angry and dissatisfied comments from you.